What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the King Sense channel. Now this is the place where we appreciate and also celebrate the art of fragrances. Now we have three goals on this channel, which are be your best, look your best, and of course, smell your best. Now my job is to help you to do that. Now if that's something that has your attention, you can show your support by hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and or subscribe to the channel. Come and be a part of the family. We would love to have you. I hope everybody had a blessed week, blessed weekend, and I wish you many more. Now, let's get on to the featured presentation. Now, this video here is special. This is for all of my people who love Parfums de Marley as much as I do. All right, if you love the brand and the house of Parfums de Marley, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because I have five five bangers that I highly highly recommend um this might even be my top five uh but this these are just five that I recommend all right to anybody who's looking to get into the house of parfums they Marley and you want to know where you should start at okay um but I'm gonna say this you know upon me selecting which five and and actually these are in order um right um, I'm going to say this is my top five Parfums de Marley as of now. So this video, this could change. The order could change later on in the year. It could change in a month because as you know, they're steadily releasing new fragrances. All right. Which could rearrange some things. All right. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this list. So starting off this list, we had Parfums de Marley, Whoa, Jean. All right. We had Parfums de Marley, Woe Jean. Man. Woe Jean is, is special. All right, let me tell you what's in here. The main players you're going to get, uh, we're talking about cinnamon, honey, tonka bean, and vanilla. So pretty much you get a warm, sweet, uh, sort of boozy DNA in this fragrance. A lot of people tell you, um, this fragrance will remind them of apple pie. Um, to me, it's like an apple pie with a small scoop of vanilla ice cream because there is some creaminess going on in this fragrance as well. Um, this is one of those fragrances. Um, if we're talking about a gourmand, top 10 gourmand list, this has to be on that list or your list is incomplete. All right, that's just my humble opinion. All right, so um, when it comes to uh, Parfums de Marley, Wojan, um, we're talking about opulence, seduction, and just refined DNA. Um, that's what you get um, from the House of Parfums de Marley. That is whoa, John. This is definitely a must have. All right, coming up in the number four slot, we have Parfums de Marley Herod. All right, we have Parfums de Marley Herod. Okay, so. You see that this fragrance brings a smile to my face. This is special. This is a special fragrance in every way to me. Um, actually, this may be, this is definitely one of my first purchases of uh, the brand, okay? So if it's not my number one, I think I may have purchased this second. So, um, but anyway, main players you're gonna get in here um, is vanilla, vetiver, tobacco leaf, and cinnamon. All right, so pretty much you get a sweet, woody, um, slightly fresh DNA, um, maybe just a, a tad bit of warmth in here as well um, with a little bit of smoke. So absolutely a banger by the House of Parfums de Marley. Whew, man, listen. So in my humble opinion, this is that fragrance that gives off that bad boy slash player energy. That's, that's again, that's just to me. All right, but what I will say um, is that this is definitely for that man who dresses well. Man, this is crazy good, crazy good. You you have to know how to put that 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 ish on. You got to know how to put it on, or do don't even buy this. Don't even buy it. All right, um, but smooth, sexy, um, slightly smoky, and intriguing. It's what comes to mind when we're talking about Parfums de Marley here, all right? Get your nose on this fragrance and you need to do it right now, 
All right, next up from the House of Power from Wednesday Marley, we're talking about Leighton. All right, and the number three slot is Leighton. Guys, if you never smelt this DNA, this fragrance, <laughs> you ain't smelled nothing. You, you you haven't smelled anything. Until you smell Leighton, um, you haven't smelled anything. All right, worth talking about. Uh, main accords in here, you get apple, you get vanilla, uh, cardamom, you get some spices. All right, so... Pretty much, you get this fresh, um, sweet, woody, spicy uh, DNA that is just out of this world. This fragrance will always be considered a panty dropper in my book. Not yours, but in my book, this will always be considered a panty dropper, 100%. Um, this fragrance is masculine, it's playful, sort of exotic, and it's just overall a stunning DNA. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Parfums de Marley later. All right, next up on the list in the number two slot, we have Pegasus. All right, we have Pegasus. Man, this is that ooh wee. This is that ooh wee right here, baby. Man, this is ooh. Unbelievable, unbelievable, and I have yet to do a review on this. Shame on me, I know. Shame on me. So, the main accords you're going to get in this one is bitter almond, vanilla, amber, bergamot. Overall, to me, this fragrance is fresh, nutty, uh, powdery, spicy uh, DNA. That's pretty much what you get overall to me, all right. Um Date night killer, absolutely a date night killer. Um, gentlemen, I'm gonna say this, whatever she thought of you before you wore this fragrance on your next date, she won't think no more. She's gonna think something totally different, totally the opposite, because this is gonna level you up in her, in her head. Trust me, <laughs> trust, trust your boy, trust me, all right? Um, when we're talking about Pegasus, we're talking about debonair, extraordinaire, intoxicating, and overall, this is just a statement in a bottle. This is a statement in a bottle. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Pegasus from the House of Parfums de Marley. Last but not least, in the number one spot, we're talking about all fair parfums de marley all fair man mm. Mm. just give me a moment man just just give me a moment <sighs> all right i'm good i'm good i'm good trust me i'm good guys praline you get orange blossom bourbon vanilla um, overall, just a smooth, warm, powdery, spicy, creamy uh, DNA. And uh, this checks every single box. Every single box. The compliment department, versatility, performance. Every single box, in my opinion, is checked when we're talking about this fragrance. Um, I feel like when you smell this, this fragrance is like the scent of elegance meets confidence combined. Um, that's what you get when we're talking about off there. You get elegance meets confidence um, and they meet you, right? The wearer, the person wearing it. And that's the type of energy that I feel you would exude when you wear this, this said fragrance right here. I also feel like this fragrance has the power to take people's noses to a place they've never been, all right? Um, and some people may think I'm reaching, that's fine, but this is my opinion, all right? I feel like this really has that type of power. Um, 
Of course, all of these fragrances um, can cost you a pretty penny. We always talk about test driving before you buy the car on this channel. And I stand by that. So guys, order you a sample because I cannot refund you your money. Um, but when we're talking about this fragrance, we're talking about phenomenal, um, refined, hypnotic, magical, and uh, in my humble opinion, this is sex in a bottle. This is absolutely sex in a bottle. Um, this is that baby making sauce. All right, man, trust me on this one. Trust me on this one, man. Whew. She gonna be trying to lick it up off of you. Man, this is that, all right? So these are, yes, my top five as of right now. I don't own every fragrance from the house. There could be something out there better than anything I have on this list, but these are my top five right now. I think I'm rubbing on like maybe 10 from the brand. Um, so yeah, um, there you have it. I'm eager to know what some of your top uh, fragrances from the brand. Um, so guys, leave some comments down below. Let us know um, what are some of your favorites. Um, if you had Perseus, let me know what's your, your thoughts on that one as well. I know they just recently um, released that one. Uh, more than likely, I will be purchasing that as well, man. Um, the House of PDM, keep taking my money, man. You can have it. You can have it, you know. So um, anyway, until the next time, be blessed, be safe. And Mr. King Sense is out.